Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the reference tool. And this is a really big one uh, because I think it has influenced me the most in terms of increasing my editing speed. So here we go. We have a picture here that I have already edited. And um, if you hit Shift R, Shift R, it brings up a reference and an active. And what I'm going to do, since this is the one that's, that's edited, I'm going to click this picture down here because um, that's the one we have edited and put it as our reference. You also notice that since it's selected down here, it's also the active. But what you can do is you can highlight or select other images down here on the bottom. And so now this is the active one. So now we have a way to compare our reference image, the one that we already edited, to the active image, the one that needs to be edited. And since these are similar, I can just uh, do this pretty quickly here and just hit paste the previous settings. And um, you'll notice that there doesn't require much to make it look pretty similar. And once again, we can even go over to this image over here. And we have, we can make some edits that way. And for the sake of brevity, we're not going to um, nitpick it too much. But as you can see, it's pretty close. And this one needs to be cropped as well. You cannot crop while you're in the, the reference view, unfortunately. So we'll just get back. We'll just get out of that, and there. So now we have that. So I'll hit Shift R again, and there we go. We have images that look uh, similar, and I can compare them um, without having to um, go back and say, OK, here's my image. This is what I'm going for. Now I have this one. Does that look the same as this one? And going back and forth like that, you'll notice even my computer is loading. So it saves you a lot of seconds when you can um, just have the, the one anchor image up on the screen and you can go through a series of images without having to go back and forth to look at them. So it's really helpful. So once again, Shift R gets you into the reference mode and you can, you know, look at the images side by side. And if you hit the, the D key, it exits exits you out of the, the reference mode as well. So there you go. I hope that is a really helpful tip for you, and I hope it uh, really increases your editing speed.